Welcome to another edition of the Blogging Your Passion Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Milligan. Today's topic is how to create your first automated email funnel. Ooh, that's a mouthful, right? Well, many of you, if you're probably just getting started or maybe you've been blogging for a little while or you've built up some kind of an email list, then you understand a fundamental challenge that a lot of us have. And that is communicating on a regular basis with our email subscribers. And we should be doing that on a regular basis, but if you're struggling to do it, I'm gonna share with you three automated sales funnels, actually email funnels that you can set up, easily put them on autopilot and they can work for you. And I'm gonna show you specific steps on how to get that done with just four simple steps using one of my favorite email service, uh, marketing service providers, and that is ConvertKit. Okay, so let's talk first of all about the three types of automatic email funnels that we can set up. The first one, number one, is an email welcome series. So an email welcome series is simply you introducing your brand and your message, your mission, to brand new email subscribers. Now you can set this up with almost any system, but again, I love ConvertKit. If you want to take a closer look at ConvertKit, you can check them out at bloggingyourpassion.com slash ConvertKit. That, of course, is my affiliate link. But you can check them out or you can go directly to ConvertKit.com, your choice in the matter. But I love ConvertKit because it allows someone who is just getting started to have simple ways to automate and scale their business without all the other complicated, more expensive uh, software solutions that are out there. So first of all, let's talk about this email welcome series. So I like having a series of three emails that basically tell a new email subscriber what they can expect. What can they expect to learn? What can they expect from you? to kind of get them in the relationship building mode with you. Now there's several things that you can do here with an email welcome series, but I think there's just a couple of things you should think about. Number one is you should think about sharing your best stuff. What is the best uh, blog post you've written? What are the, the most listened to podcast episodes if you have a podcast? What is the most watched video if you've done any videos on YouTube? Share the best stuff in the beginning so people can get really connected with you. Number two is I think you need to be personal. And in being personal, share personal pictures of uh, you and your spouse or you with uh, your kids. I share a funny video of uh, me being in the passenger seat of a dune buggy while my 10 year old son at the time is behind the wheel and you see my face of panic like well, what did I just sign up for giving him the ability to drive this dune buggy over these uh, dirt hills and I hope that I survive but that's just a personal way of me connecting I also show some other family pictures as well I want people to personally connect with me I think they connect more with a person than they do with a brand and then number three with an email welcome series, I would encourage you to share your mission. What is the ultimate mission that you have? You know, here at Blogging Your Passion, it's to help a thousand bloggers go full time in the next five years. It's a very clear mission that we have and we share it with people because we want to get them excited because it includes them. And I oftentimes will hear back from people on hey, I wanna be one of those 1,000. They get excited about being a part of the mission. And then actually there's another one that I wanna throw in here with an email welcome series. That is encourage feedback. Have them reply, especially on email number one, and answer the question, what is the biggest challenge you face with, and then fill in the blank with your, top, your topic or your niche. By doing that, you will collect a reservoir of blog post ideas, podcast episodes, potential webinars to run, products, products to create, uh, services that you can launch. In fact, I have a complete Evernote file where I collect every single person who replies back to me. And I have a long list of ideas. I never run about ideas for creating content 
for new products. So that's extremely important. So that's number one that you can create. Number two type of uh, automatic funnel, automated email funnel, is what I would call the actual sales funnel. So typically this is, uh, comes from somebody who opts in to something. In other words, they give you an email in exchange for something you have for them. For example, I have one on a regular webinar that I run on how to launch your blog in 30 days, a 30 day launch your blog plan. In fact, if you find yourself there and you're like, Jonathan, I want that webinar, what is the exact 30 day plan? You can check it out at bloggingyourpassion.com slash launch. Bloggingyourpassion.com slash launch. And anyways, if somebody goes through that, and if you wanna see this as an example, you can go through it. They'll watch the webinar, and then I have three emails that come to them uh, over the course of the next couple of days, and it shares more content, but it also lets them know about our core number one best-selling product, which is the Blogging Your Passion University 101 course. And every week I get sales from that simple automatic sales funnel, and I don't do anything to promote it. People oftentimes will find it on my blog. In fact, you can go to bloggingyourpassion.com and look over in the right sidebar and you'll see an, a simple ad about this ongoing webinar that I'm running. Okay, so that's an example of how a sales funnel can work for you so that you can generate sales without having to do anything in the process other than set it all up. Number three type of email a funnel that I recommend you set up is a customer nurture email series. Customer nurture email series. So what is that, Jonathan? Well, a customer nurture email series is getting someone, getting a customer once they bought your product to actually consume your course. You see, just because someone bought it, that doesn't mean that they're going to actually use it, benefit from it, and receive transformation by it. They have to consume it. And so one way you can do that is by setting up a series of emails that encourages them to get in and take action. But some of those emails could include, you know, a personal challenge about make sure you watch this video. Uh, it, could, it could include uh, showing social proof of other uh, customers who have taken the course and actually benefited from it. Uh, it could be a, a variety of things that you could do with it, but getting them to consume your material is extremely important. So think about this in the process of the journey, the customer's journey. They get on my email list, they receive a series of two to three emails, welcoming them to my brand, letting them in on some uh, personal connection with me, and encouraging them to be a part of a mission that I have in place. And then I can move them into an, an automatic sales funnel to purchase a product, and then I have an automatic funnel that helps them consume the product and receive transformation. So now that we've done that, how are we gonna set it all up? Well, if you're listening to the podcast, this will probably be a little bit harder to understand, but you can always go and check out the blog post where I have screenshots over at bloggingyourpassion.com, uh, or if you're watching it via video over on our YouTube channel, uh, again, it may make more sense to actually see some screenshots, but I'm going to tell you how to set any of these up, whichever one you want to start with. I would recommend that you start with the welcome email series, and I'm going to show you how you can set this up in just four simple steps. So step one, select the right email marketing software. Now listen, there are many solutions out there. Uh, I have used quite a few of them. Over my years of blogging, I've gone from AWeber to MailChimp to GetResponse to Entreport, and today I'm on ConvertKit. Now you say, Jonathan, why have you moved around so much? There is a few primary reasons. Number one is I wanted to have a system that allowed me to do more segmenting, uh, to, to, to be able to take the specific interests that people on my list had and separate them out from everybody else. Uh, that was one of the reasons I moved to get response was to begin trying to do that a little bit better. I still found that I was scattered because it wasn't an email list centric system. It was a list centric system. So at the time I made a decision to actually move to 
the only really two players that were in that game at the time, and there was Entreport and Infusionsoft. Now, if you know anything about Infusionsoft, you can be pretty expensive. Uh, many people have to pay 1000 to $1,500 just to kind of initially start the relationship with them. But then many people that I know that are using that system also hire consultants because it's an extremely complex and robust system. And then, of course, there's Entreport, which is who I went with at the time. The Entreport support staff is great. They are wonderful. Uh, at the same time, I felt that as a blogger, I wanted to be emailing my list way more often. And I wanted to have a little bit more simpler automation than uh, what I was getting through Entreport. That, my friends, why I ended up with ConvertKit. So step one, choose the right uh, email marketing software because it'll make your life easier. What I love about ConvertKit is that you have uh, simple user interfaces. You're able to set up these funnels that I'm talking about with ease. I mean, it's the simplest I've seen it. And it's especially in the section where it's called sequences inside ConvertKit. And you'll be able to simply see the, the, the emails that you can set up really, really fast. And so that moves us to step two is what is the right email uh, lead magnet trigger for you? So you're going to need to be able to get people on your list. And what I recommend is to create some type of a lead magnet trigger. So for example, I have a funnel about my Kindle Your Passion course for people who want to write and publish a Kindle book in 30 days. What I do is I actually start the process with a lead magnet called my 30-day writing plan. It's a simple document that people can download and see exactly how to break up and write their Kindle book in 30 days. Once they download that PDF, now moving on to the next step, they're gonna receive a series of emails from me. And that is number three, create a new automated email sequence. Now on Site Convert Kit, it's a, there's a whole section called sequences. And basically what you wanna do with an email sequence is you want to create what uh, what emails do I want to send to them and how many. So I typically recommend at least three, and I recommend that you do it day one, day two, and day three. So if someone downloads uh, my, my simple lead magnet on a 30-day Kindle writing plan, the next day they're going to get an email and say, hey, have you had a chance to use it? Did you download it? You know, what do you think of the writing plan? By the way, I have a whole course that will help you to publish your book in 30 days called Kindle Your Passion. Then the next day in the sequence, they'll receive an, another email. It could be another resource. It could be me sharing a success story of someone who's published a Kindle book using my program. But uh, I want to reach out to them again and also let them know once again that the Kindle Your Passion course is available for them to purchase. Then maybe the last email, kind of maybe it ends a, a coupon, maybe there's a discount that's going away that I can share with them, uh, that sort of setup. So that's kind of a simple way to do it. So again, if we move back to step two, we're creating a, a way to deliver a lead magnet. And by the way, we do that in ConvertKit with a section called Forms. Now, if you know how to create a document then all you have to do is when you create a form inside ConvertKit is to upload that form and it will deliver it to your email subscriber the moment they opt in. Super simple to set up with ConvertKit. Again, you create a form and then on the form you say, I want to upload this document. It gives you a button to attach the document, the lead magnet that you want to give to them. And then it will issue that and send it to them. So then step three, again, is we set up the sequence. What are the two or three emails we want to send? Now, step four is we simply connect the form with the sequence. Now, again, this is much easier if you go to bloggingyourpassion.com and check out the blog post. You'll see the screenshots. But really what we got to do is we just go back to the form that we originally created. And there is a section there under settings called sequence settings. And we use the drop down to connect the sequence with the form, okay? So here's how it all works together. Someone comes on your site and they want that lead magnet. 
So they put their email into the form and the form automatically delivers to them the, the, the resource they requested because we uploaded it using ConvertKit. Then it, they will receive the next couple of days a series of emails from us that promote the product, promote the service, the thing that we want to have them purchase. And that is all done through ConvertKit. And so you know what? You're all set. Now let me just give you one pro tip on this whole process. Another really cool thing with ConvertKit is after you have this up and running for a little while, you can go look in the, the settings section under sequences and see how are your emails performing? Which ones are getting opened the most? Which of them are getting opened the least? Which ones are getting the most clicks on the links inside of your email and which ones aren't? And so what I typically do if I have three emails in my sequence, then I will look at the one that's the lowest and say, hmm, maybe there's a better email subject line that can help boost these numbers. And I can go in and improve it. So we can tweak and improve the process along the way, which will lead to more sales. All right, so I know we covered a lot in this, but again, just as a recap, there's three types of funnels that you can set up. There's the welcome email series funnel, there's the automatic sales funnel. And number three, there's the customer nurture email series after they purchased a product. Then we shared with you a four step process for setting all this up. Step one was to choose the right software. I recommend ConvertKit. Step two is to set up a lead magnet trigger. We simply create a new form inside of ConvertKit and upload our PDF. Step three is we create the actual email sequence. You go to sequences underneath the category uh, inside ConvertKit and you simply write up your two or three emails you wanna send. And then number four is we connect the form with the sequence. Everything now is running on autopilot. All right, so I wanna encourage you to check this out. I want you to do this. Even if it's just setting up your email welcome series, I think that's a great place to start. So again, if you want to know more, you can go to bloggingyourpassion.com slash convertkit and start getting all of this set up. Well, that's it for this episode of the Blogging Your Passion show. Each and every week, we want to bring you the best information on how to take that passion that you have and turn it into a profitable online business. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We look forward to hearing more from you soon.